Hello everyone, this is Dragonon and welcome back to the episode of Hogwarts in Minecraft and today is episode 14 and yeah so we've left the viaduct pretty, we just left it alone to be honest and I must tell you it makes pictures of Hogwarts, when I take screenshots of this Hogwarts it makes it look so incomplete like the viaduct and I can't believe we just left it undone this for this long and you know it's finally time we get it done so I thought I'd do Let's get straight in. Okay, so as you see, I've simply just done this kind of outline of this corner of the Great Hall kind of courtyard over here. So the East Wing, and the first thing we can do is I guess we just need to fill in this area over here. And yeah, I'm sure I'm really sorry for the lack of uploads of Christmas. I've been really busy with revision. Um, so I have like loads of exams after Christmas and everything. So um yeah, I've been really busy and not having much time to actually kind of build Hogwarts. Um and it's quite a shame since my channel has been kind of booming at the moment. I've been getting, yeah, loads of people join my Discord server. And if you aren't in it, please join. It's, it's really great. And I know quite a few of you guys are actually building Hogwarts. They're kind of following my kind of tutorial, which I find absolutely amazing that that is happening. And it's just thank you so much, for guys, for just following my kind of tutorial. I'm not really building it as a tutorial, just so you guys know. I'm more of building it just as kind of a journey since I'm getting quite a few comments saying I'm being building it way too quickly and i should be doing a block by block i'm merely building this as a guide rather than a tutorial if you guys do want a tutorial i can make blueprints like i guess i can make blueprints or something like that but this is definitely not to be confused with a block for block tutorial um so yeah now we've reached this kind of side we're going to kind of figure out this area over here since yeah i, I don't actually know how it kind of connects with it i guess we need to remove this kind of area like so and um so I guess you could do something like this and just have a kind of stairs going down here or something. Um, yeah, that, that that kind of works, I guess. And then just have the perimeter of the wall kind of coming along here. Yeah, we've done this bit later. So currently the design on the top, I'm kind of going with something like this. So it's going to be two sandstone um, walls and then an endstone brick block and then two sandstone walls and then another endstone brick block. And I'm just going to continue this along. And I think this is kind of an accurate design since um, if you look at a picture, you can kind of see that there are kind of um, these kind of indentations along the bridge. I'll put some pictures on the screen right now, but there are some kind of some indentations. And I show that this kind of wall method kind of, I don't know, it, it brings it out, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're just going to be putting like this. And then also we need to add another kind of layer on top of this since there, there is kind of a, there is kind of um, a top. And I think endstone brick um kind of slabs would look good um yeah i know i think i think that is fine it looks a bit tall however so maybe we can go with but trapdoors maybe um it does reduce the height a bit and it does kind of have the correct style to it um i'm gonna go with um, trapdoors um but for you guys actually kind of build the wall for yourself i recommend going with um slabs since you can't really Unless you're, not, unless you're using my texture pack, it's not going to be very useful. So if we just continue this down here, like so, and you know, it ends perfectly, which is 100% planned, you know. Um, and just do the exact same thing on the other side. And I'm just gonna hope it kind of stays in sync. Right then, now we've finished the top, we can work on the kind of first tier of art which is in the, in the viaduct. So basically, we need to kind of copy this kind of line across and so if we just do that right so now we've got this line done we just add in the archways and i'm gonna go with a two by three kind of arch and just kind of have it look like this and this is just gonna go through the entire of the arch and i'm gonna have all of these archways kind of underneath one of these areas so this is the first tier of arch on the viaduct so let's go add all of these archways in and obviously these archways are going to go spread throughout the whole kind of viaduct so yeah we also need to add this on the other side which is it's gonna take some time, so let's just do it. Right then, and now we've completed the kind of bottom layer, we can now add in all of these archways, and the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna build all of these kind of, these kind of cutoff areas, and then I'm gonna add in all the stairs at once. So, yeah, I'm just gonna build all of these walls underneath these walls, and then we can add in the stairs, and this is actually gonna be quite laborious, even though it's actually not quite small. Um, but yeah, let's just go do this. Right, and that is the first layer of archways done. And I think I want to add some details. I'm just going to go ahead and place some slabs along here. And so in the actual viaduct, they are a lot thinner, but that's kind of really hard to pull off with Minecraft. Um, they're kind of the same thickness as, you know, this kind of bottom bit here of the of the stone, of the of the stair, of the stair block. But 
you can't really pull that off in Minecraft, so yeah, we're just going to do this, and you know what, I, I kind of like it anyway, so that's perfectly fine, so, right, let's go pull that along here, and then as well, I think we should add another layer of sandstone um, slabs along on this kind of bottom layer here as well, just kind of make it a bit more accurate to the films, and you know, just make a little nice touch of added detail and kind of texture to add kind of more, more depth to the bridge, since I don't want to make it look too flat, and since making things too flat in Minecraft is kind of it's kind of a big deal. You want you want to add depth to your builds, otherwise you say it's kind of about they just look like a you know a flat wall and a flat wall. This wall before I added all of these just looked absolutely garbage. Like yeah yeah it was accurate to Hogwarts. It the Hogwarts is just like you know a flat wall windows, but it looks absolutely horrendous in Minecraft. And you need to combat it by adding you know kind of just random decorations to make it look good. And yeah, I'm just want to do it anyway. Right, we need to add in the secondary archways along the bottom. So the archways along the bottom, they kind of have their pillars are during these kind of, um, are in these kind of sections along here. So their pillars are where it's kind of in the arch over here. So, um, let's go add in all of these pillars. So there's one here and then the next one's over here. It's actually pretty big areas. So I think the easy way to do this is just to do a slash set command, isn't it? Yeah. So if you go down here and you know, place that there. I just use such a set and stone bricks. I don't even know what happened. What did I do? I like I somehow filled in. Um, I just removed an entire line. Oh gosh, what did I do? Um, I, I messed up. I, I don't even know how that happened. Right, so we're wanting to fill in this to. It's, it's basically done already, isn't it? So, um, we need to terraform around this area to make it look a bit complete, since it looks a bit doesn't look the best. Um. Something like and that that should be fine. And then yeah, yeah, let's add the add the next one which is here. So take this coordinate here and drop down like so. And try to screw this up. Like so. That went much better. So and then let's just continue this along here. So one here. And just continue this all the way along the rest of the viaduct. And then we can add in that rest of the archways along here. Oh my god! You know, making this fire that's just made me realise how our cliffs are just not tall enough. Oh my gosh. So, that is a problem since this looks so stubborn. It's meant to go like, I don't know, an extra 15 blocks down. So, we're going to need to raise the entirety of Hogwarts 15 blocks up. Um, yeah. Okay. I guess we'll just have to do that in a later video since... I'm not ready to do that in this episode since I'm really busy right now. So we'll figure that out at a another point. Um oh oh gosh. Oh my god. Um Yeah, that's gonna be really annoying to do, but oh well. Um it is kind of necessary. I I did know it was gonna be a problem. I didn't realise how serious it was since this just looks pathetic. Um so yeah, yeah, we need, to, we need to redo the entire landscape. Oh my gosh, it took so long to do in the first place, but uh, oh well, oh well, it's fine. We can do with it, we can do with it, it's fine. Um, yeah, right then, so these, there are these kind of archways just along here, so let's just go add all of these in, and I think I've made them a little, a little too shallow. Maybe something like, like I don't want to make it too diagonal, since that just looks kind of... I mean, that arch looks kind of forced, so maybe something, if we use endstone brick walls, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, let's just go back to the original design and we can just kind of make it a really shallow arch, and yeah, let's just do this. Actually, just bring this down like this, like so, like that, then let's just, let's just do this, let's just do this, something like this. That should look okay. Yeah, it looks a bit thin, but that's okay. And then, within the arch series themselves, there are some more of these things. And obviously, they're not this thick, but we'll add them in later. So, let's go and copy this all in. Um, right, pause one, pause two. And if we just go copy it, I guess, right here. Let's just copy and fill these kind of... <laughs> the dirt back in. 
and then we can go and copy paste everything in. So there was one about here, like so. And I mean, it, it just about fits in. Um, we can go polish it off at a later date, like like that, and that is done. There's one here, like that. There is one here, and like that. And then just repeat the entire thing on the opposite side. Right then, and that's that kind of archway kind of thing done. I actually think it looks pretty good. So let's just go add in these kind of, I want to call them rims that is kind of around here. Um, just go add them in. I'm going to add it on like two and see if it looks good. And if it looks good, we'll carry on the other ones. Uh, no, it is horrible. Just get rid of that. I don't like that at all. And actually, as a question, do we like, do we like it with, with this? Um... I don't know, let's do slash slash pause one and then slash slash pause two. Replace sandstone slab with air. Alright, so that's without the sandstone slabs and this is with them. Without um I mean I kind of like it without, it just makes it look a bit a bit neater. And I think if we get it kind of taller, it would look better without. So I'm gonna leave it without for now. And I've actually just forgotten, we need to kind of add in these kind of lantern things on the top. So, yeah, let's add them in. So I think I need to make, we're going to use, we're gonna use um, nether, nether fences, if I can find them. They are right here. And I'm probably going to retexture these since, yeah, they're not, they're not the great, best colour. Um, I'll probably retexture them to something like, just black. Black looks nice all the time. So let's get some um, lanterns and just place them on the top. And sorry if you guys can hear fireworks outside, it's just, you know, it's the 4th of, um, it's the 4th of January at this point. I hope you guys did have a very happy new year and a merry Christmas, I certainly did. Um, yes, it's currently the 4th of um, January, so people are still getting excited about new year, um, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely make sure to kind of remake these textures for the next episode. Obviously it's not too drastic it kind of still does fit in from a distance um but yeah i just wanted to change i'll, I'll probably redo the, the model as well for the lantern and i'll retexture the nether bricks um what do you know these nether nether brick fences um i'll retexture them to like black because black fences look cool i don't know why they're not in minecraft but yeah anyway that is basically this viaduct done not gonna be talking let's just go look what it looks like Right then, so looking at it from a distance, I actually am quite happy with the design. I'm liking these kind of fences around here, in this area kind of around here. Um, the only problem is, is, you know, it's not, it's just the landscaping is not high enough, so I'll work on that. Uh, I might do it as a live stream actually, but yeah, this is basically the viaduct done, and it makes Hogwarts look that much bit more complete, which only leaves the landscaping, which is, you know, a lot of landscaping. Um, this 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 bit's gonna be a bit of a nightmare because it's kind of special. This tower just goes down. The hospital wing, I'm going to redo this area, but that's fine. Um, the owlery, uh, the bridge, and I'm not doing the training grounds tower because it got removed. I don't know why, but this tower is useless. But yeah, um, and I need to redo these towers. Actually, on that note, I do have something over here I would like to show you guys. So I have been working on a different kind of tower design since. The ones in Hogwarts, the ones that you can see over here, they, the tops kind of bulge out a bit too much and they're not tall enough. So I have been working on these new kind of prototype designs and I will kind of walk through how I build them later. But basically, but basically they are just identical. They are just kind of this. It's just a bit, a bit taller. I think it's kind of two of these window things instead of one. So it is a bit taller and I kind of redid the roof. I made it a bit steeper. Just kind of using the same kind of kind of concept, just kind of expanding it up a bit, using the new techniques I've learnt with walls and everything, to making it as tall as possible. And I've also, I've also removed the kind of annoying armor stand trick I used, which was over here, since that was just annoying because I couldn't move it without this kind of annoying stuff happening. So I used these kind of things, these walls, and I also just kind of expanded these. Just so why am I lagging so much? And I've also kind of changed this thickness. Instead of being three blocks thick, um, these kind of pillars are four. And that allows for so, so much more stuff. It allows me for to actually add these kind of actual pillars inside here instead of just using these kind of walls to kind of fake the effect and 
Also, I think it allows these things don't actually stand out as much. So on here, they kind of stand out. On here, it's less. And you know, from this angle, they look seriously cool. Um, so I'm probably going to be adapting these into Hogwarts in a later video. I'm also going to kind of warn you guys how I did it. First, I need to back up the world and yeah, work on the landscaping, which is going to be a yippy moment. Um, so yeah, this, this is an example of where these kind of armor stands are really annoying. As you can see, it's kind of shifted and I can't actually move them with water because water well, just doesn't detect entities for some reason. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, so we got the viaduct done. It wasn't actually that much progress, but I need to keep my other episodes quite short at the moment because I don't have much time. So yeah, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Make sure to join my Discord server. Link is in the description and on the screen right now. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And I will see you then.